There's already talk about a new iPhone 15, even though the iPhone 14 Pro just came out not that long ago. However, I think if you're looking to buy a new iPhone, you should buy the iPhone 14 Pro if you can get your hands on one. <sighs> Actually, before we talk about that, I need a cup of coffee. And, and not just boring office coffee that tastes like watered down mold. I need something bold, something fresh, something frozen. Yes, I need Cometeer. And Cometeer is an entirely new way to think about coffee too. The coffee is frozen and then shipped to you. So you don't need fresh beans. You don't need a coffee grinder. You don't need a coffee machine or a French press machine or an espresso machine or anything like that. All you need is hot water and Cometeer. And let's do this live. Here is Cometeer. As you can see, all you do is open it up, drop that in, look at that. And then you take a nice hot cup of water and that's how fast the process is. The coffee is already brewed, just like that. Very simple. But let's give it the ultimate sip test to actually see how good is it. That is really, a really, really good cup of coffee. That is smooth, and this is a lighter roast, which I really like, with really bold flavors. So Cometeer tastes great. My personal favorite is that lighter roast of coffee, but Cometeer offers delicious customized boxes of light, medium, dark, and even decaf roast with monthly shipments that are delivered directly to your doorstep. And when you place your order of Cometeer coffee, make sure you check the description below for an exclusive discount for Greg's Gadgets viewers. And if you've been waiting to try Cometeer, now is the time. So thank you to Cometeer, not only for keeping me caffeinated, but also for sponsoring this video. Okay, the first reason why I think you should buy the iPhone 14 Pro is, well, the new design. Now, it's not a major design overhaul like we've seen with previous upgrades to the iPhone over the years, and it still features the same overall profile and shape as the iPhone 13. But the front of the iPhone 14 Pro has a new design that instantly sets it apart from the iPhones that came before it. Yes, I am talking about the dynamic island. This new pill-shaped cutout isn't just a new design, it's a flagship feature of the iPhone 14 Pro because the dynamic island Island is now part of the user interface. It lets you see important information like timer countdowns or what music is playing, gives you the ability to quickly switch between apps that are stored in the dynamic island, and a long press on apps in the dynamic island will reveal more controls or expand the app to give you more information, almost like a little multitasking window that's always accessible on the top of your phone. The dynamic island is also just a joyful experience with the well-crafted animations and the way it delivers important iPhone system alerts, like when Face ID is being activated. So yes, not only will everyone know you have the new iPhone and believe it, that's actually a reason why people upgrade their phones year over year from the previous model because they, they want it to look different, but the dynamic island also serves as a useful feature that is not found on any other iPhone. Another reason to go for the iPhone 14 Pro is the amazing display. This is the best smartphone display ever, at least from what I can see. So not only does it have a gorgeous OLED display with vivid colors and deep inky black levels, but now it gets up to 2000 nits of peak brightness and outdoor use, so you can always view the iPhone in max clarity. The 14 Pro also continues to be a super smooth and responsive display with its 120 Hertz ProMotion display, but this time Apple has a new trick that allows the display to go all the way down to one hertz on the refresh rate. This enables a new feature on the 14 Pro with its always on display. And it's unlike any of the other always on displays on the market because it doesn't just show you a black wallpaper and a revised lock screen. Because when you put the iPhone to sleep, the wallpaper and display simply dim. And you can continue to see all the information that was on your lock screen, like time, date, weather, your widgets, and all the new live activities view on the bottom, so it's always literally on. This is the most advanced iPhone display yet and probably one of the biggest display upgrades, meaning that next year's iPhones probably won't have this many new display flagship features. Now, of course, another reason you're gonna wanna buy the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I mean, come on, it's the camera system. That is usually one of the biggest upgrade factors for people who are deciding between a new phone every year. And this is a pretty big improvement to the iPhone's camera system. Now I've talked about camera quality on the 14 Pro extensively in my review video. So I'll try just to give a quick condensed version here on why this new camera system is so important 
and why it should age gracefully. First of all, the 14 Pro comes with a new upgraded 48 megapixel sensor over the older 12 megapixel sensor. And this is the first megapixel change on an iPhone since the iPhone 6S, which came out six years ago. So this isn't something that happens with every iPhone upgrade. The iPhone 14 Pro delivers great photos with its wide angle lens and the new 48 megapixel sensor now has a new 2X mode, which can crop into the 48 megapixel sensor to deliver a full resolution 12 megapixel with enhanced zoom on the main wide angle camera, which delivers the best photos compared to the telephoto and ultra wide angle camera. And if you really want to dive deep down and get the full power of this iPhone's camera system, you can get full 48 megapixel sensor photos if you use the ProRAW mode, which delivers sharper images with more detail, which gives you much more control when you edit your photos. Video quality remains unmatched in a smartphone and delivers crisp 4K footage up to 60 frames per second. And the new cinematic mode has been improved with 4K 24 frames per second. Of course, the front-facing camera also received a major upgrade with new features and an improved sensor and now has autofocus. So it delivers amazing photos and actually really amazing videos as well. So this stands to be one of the the biggest camera upgrades we will see on the iPhone for quite some time. It's not every day that Apple changes the megapixel count, and this upgrade means you're upgrading at a time where you probably won't see a major megapixel improvement at least for the next few years. Speaking of aging gracefully, another reason why you want the iPhone 14 Pro and why it's a good phone to buy right now is of course the A16 chip. Now, I don't wanna talk about power, even though the A16 is ridiculously powerful for a smartphone chip, but let's talk about real world benefits to the user buying this phone, and that is software updates. Apple has been great about updating its older hardware to the latest version of iOS. The current iOS 16 software update works all the way up to phones as old as the iPhone 8. So with an A16 chip being so powerful, and because the regular iPhone still comes with an enhanced version of the A15 chip, this means that the iPhone 14 Pro will age even better and could be even longer supported in iOS software updates than a regular 14 model. Now, another reason you wanna buy the iPhone 14 Pro right now is because, well, this, the lightning port. Yes, there's rumors that next year, Apple will finally be switching over to a USB-C port on the iPhone 15. Now, USB-C will mostly be a beneficial iPhone upgrade. And for me, it's an advantage over the lightning port because if you want faster data transfer speeds, well, you need a USB-C port. However, if you currently own a lot of lightning cables or accessories that work with the lightning port, it could be pretty expensive to replace all of your existing Lightning infrastructure. And if you're like most consumers and never plan to use a cable to transfer data from your iPhone to your computer, like who still does that anymore? Who still does that anymore, right? <laughs> well, then you might actually favor the Lightning port over the USB-C port because you won't be able to really reap the benefits of the USB-C charging port if you aren't using it for data transfer speeds. It will still only be used to charge your phone. And if you already have a bunch of Lightning cables, you're gonna be kind of mad about that. Also, you might wanna throw this in there. No one really knows what Apple plans to do with the iPhone 15. Yes, I think they will switch over to USB-C, but another option is they could just get rid of the port entirely. I think it's unlikely, but there has been rumors that Apple was looking to be doing this. So if Apple already has products like the Apple Watch that don't have a physical port, well, then it's not entirely unrealistic to think Maybe they'll scrap the port altogether with the iPhone 15, and maybe, just maybe, the iPhone 14 Pro could be the last iPhone with a physical charging port. And it may wanna be something that you make sure that you have. Of course, I think the biggest reason to buy an iPhone 14 Pro right now is price. Now, this may shock you because you're currently looking at a $1,000 smartphone and that's expensive, right? But look at the alternatives. The iPhone 14 comes with an older chip, an older camera, an older design, and, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max are easily worth the additional $200 over their normal iPhone 14 counterparts. Furthermore, with an unpredictable world event like inflation and just the sheer popularity of the iPhone 14 Pro right now, I mean, Apple had to literally issue a press release saying how they can't manufacture enough iPhone 14 Pros right now with their manufacturing line and current iPhones are delayed to be shipping all the way out until the end of November as I'm making this video, that's a pretty long time. So if you're watching this video right now and you're on the fence about buying an iPhone 14 Pro or you're thinking about buying it for the holiday season, you should probably buy one right now to ensure that you get one before the end of the year because Apple issuing a press release that they are having issues with their manufacturing line for an iPhone, that's kind of like, that's pretty rare. So. 
I, these are going to be hard to get. These are going to be really hard to get because they're so popular right now and because Apple is having trouble making them. On top of that, let's think about the future. Like I said before, what about like a major world event like inflation? Well, maybe the prices for next year on the iPhone 14 Pro could even go up. This has already happened in other markets like in Europe where prices have increased. So they haven't increased in the US market. It's still $1,000 for an iPhone 14 Pro, but think about it. There could be a good chance that next year on the iPhone 15, there could be a price increase on the Pro models, especially because apparently the normal 14 and the 14 Plus models aren't selling well. So if Apple wants to help differentiate the lineup between the regular 15 and then the 15 Pro, I could definitely see a scenario where the Pro phones are going up $100 each. All right, but those are my reasons why I think you should buy an iPhone 14 Pro or a Pro Max, I have a Pro Max, right now and not wait for an iPhone 15. But let me know in the comments below, do you agree with me that you should buy the iPhone 14 or do you think I'm wrong and most people should wait for the iPhone 15 Pro? Either way, I hope you really found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. And hey, I'll catch you in the next one. And if you do buy an iPhone 14 Pro, good luck on getting one.